Arc Titan is the most fun I've had in three weeks. Unfortunately, I had to remove this joke because I got a copyright claimed. Now that I got that out of the way, let's talk about what I did and why I had so much fun with it. This is the build your wash goat decided to bring to the table today. We decided we're going to go with the Peacekeeper's build using various SMGs and special weapons to do whatever justice. For the build, barricade, lift, strike, pulse grenade, the bell, the knockout. I'm not going to mess around with juggernaut shields because I am not a filthy rat. Fragments, shock, magnitude, recharge, feedback, self-explanatory. This is what your goat decided to bring. I was switching up uh, between the special weapons. I was switching up between the kinetic weapons. And I was having a good time. I was really enjoying using this, especially doing the uh, double double SMG little combarino here. Back to the rest of my yapping. Playing Arc Titan so far has been the number two funnest thing that I have done in this entire series so far, second to only the Strand Hunter for a couple reasons. For starters, it allowed me to do a type of playstyle that I don't normally do. That is the run and gun momentum exclusively SMG, just based lord billionaire, finally able to use what is my favorite gun in the entire game, Shaira's Wrath, with the crispiest sight picture known to man. I don't know why anybody ever complains about it, but it is the best sights known to man. And during my time using Ark, I decided that if I wasn't moving, I was doing something wrong to force myself into those uncomfortable situations and try to manage to successfully adapt. And it worked the vast majority of the time. I think of the 20 or so games that I played um, in capturing the footage for this video, I managed to go negative a single time. I believe it was on multiplex. I was trying to use double SMGs on a map that just does not support that particular playstyle. But um, running around with the double SMGs and the Peacekeepers, I can see why some people might think it's really annoying, but like I said, I'm a washed goat. So my double SMG using abilities are clearly below the rest of the pack and using the SMG for the cleanup tool was really the way to go unless I was going on just the absolute heaters with the show yours wrath getting kill clip into kill clip into kill clip just a really fun time. I switched pretty early into my session. I thought I was going to just spam double SMGs the entire time, but I decided to mix up a mix it up with special weapons. So I was using conditional finality the clearest indication of the health of the game is when everybody and their mother is using conditional fidelity no matter what the meta is for the entirety of lightfall and i was getting punished more than i've ever been punished in my life as you can see in the footage above every time i tried to close the gap i was just getting frozen out by stasis warlocks the same stasis warlock and it was really hard to get out of that funk so adapting the playstyle really was not something that I wanted to do in this instance, but my god, I hate Stasis Warlocks. They're probably the only counter to this type of play. Maybe Void Titans with that little bit of extra health were able to tank the melees that I was sending out there, but it was just criminal, the kind of dirt I was being done by Stasis Warlocks, and that is the next focus of my attention. But for now, let's just get back to what makes the Arc Titan so great. Everything about the Arc Titan just screams spam abilities. You have to play surprisingly careful um, knowing which angles to take fights, the charge distance for the shoulder charge, and if you are actually going to hit your abilities or not. As you're sitting here watching this video, just think to yourself for a minute, is my goat washed? The answer is almost always yes, because as you can clearly see in this clip, I'm not the best user of the Thundercrash missile. Now, this was probably, no, not probably, definitely the only instance today, yesterday, that when I was actually playing that I successfully managed to not do anything with the missile. More often than not, I was getting singles and doubles with the missile. The missile is very good. I didn't have to put a lot of brain power into thinking on what I was doing. I just did things, and more often than not, it worked to like switching to Thorn, for example. Thorn just works partially because it's overpowered and partially because the crayon-eating nature of Arc Titan allows you to use whatever you want, essentially, and be successful. The only things you have to consider is you need to be up close and personal for Knockout to work, for the Bell to work, 
I probably had one singular legacy game. I switched off of storm grenades and was using pulse grenades, maybe half and half. Storm grenades are definitely not in their prime. They're not as good as they used to be. Pulse grenades are really more for area denial. You're not going to catch kills unless people are stupid. It's just for forcing them off objectives. And thank God Iron Banner switched from supremacy to control so i was able to use my grenades a lot more effectively um i didn't use them as an engage tool i was using grenades as an escape tool more often than not just cutting off lanes and ensuring that i couldn't be follow if i was sending grenade launcher rounds down field and i couldn't secure or confirm the kill with my smg it was always good to just throw a pulse grenade or throw a storm grenade just to cut off any potential pursuers and this run and gun mindset just i i can't put it into words enough as much as i like to keep yapping it was just plain fun i would recommend arc to everybody it's not oppressive as a I remember it used to be. It's not overpowered. It's just what the player makes the most out of it. Every once in a while, you can find yourself going into a flow state, just absolutely juiced off out of your mind, just using the momentum to its fullest extent. And then other times, you're getting shut down by stasis warlocks. You're getting shut down by Lamonarch goobers who are one two tapping you. You're getting hit with a bow and arrow and an Ariana's vow from some absolute coward sitting in the back of the map, just abusing bows and the Ariana vow hots swap but i digress where do i rank arc titan on my list of overpowered subclasses it didn't take me very long considering the criteria that i set for myself this is where i ended up ranking where i ended up ranking arc titan is in competitive in good conscience i can't call it average because this depends entirely on the skill of the player but the subclass itself doesn't make the player good unlike strand hunter so i'm ranking it with arc warlock as being a fun competitive subclass that yes even though it is a crayon eater play style it's just the way the cookie crumbles in this instance and i don't think that anything can convince me otherwise you may call arc trash you may call arc the best class in the game i feel personally it's still outclassed by at least three subclasses maybe four if you consider stasis warlock to be the chief shutdown tool of the arc titan playstyle but that's just where we are right now it is perfectly serviceable it is a perfectly average acceptable subclass above average that being and it's good to get good with just to have as a tool in your arsenal well, with that being said, as much as I would love to sit here and continue to yap on because I absolutely love the sound of my own voice, I would like to take a second and say thank you to everybody that actually sat to the end of this video. I do appreciate every single one of you watching this. Um, I'm finishing out this series. I think I'm maybe a third of the way done with it. Um, for the next subclass that I'm choosing, I'm gonna flip a coin and pick either Strand Titan or Stasis Warlock, depending on whatever is making me more upset at the moment. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I will figure it out and it'll be out hopefully tomorrow if i can make that happen and apart from that yeah i just want to say thank you all to everybody who is sitting here watching this and i will see you next time the missile is very tired he is eepy the missile has had a very long day of splashing bandits and wants to take just a small sleeve he eeby and neebies to sleepy mibsile sleepy and need bed by time the missile is currently experiencing critical levels of being a sleevegy little guy and needs to go to bed